This is a motion resolution test pattern. We're going to run it and loop it over and over again. Um, the interpolation circuitry on all the LEDs and the smooth, is, let's make sure the smooth is off on the Panasonic as well. Should all be off for this test to start, and then I'll engage one of them to show you the difference. Um, Without that interpolation, there's a resolution loss. It's pretty significant. If you look at the picture, forget even trying to measure the lines, either vertical or horizontal, but you can see that the picture actually looks pretty soft. Right? Yeah. The reality is that in a moving picture in a movie, you're, you're not going to perceive this loss of resolution. And um, I'll put the motion enhancement on low on the sharp and you'll see, or the elite, excuse me, you'll see it, it'll sharpen up the picture very nicely. And in fact, in my opinion, this might have, this probably has the best interpolation circuitry processing in it of any LED I've ever seen. In the low setting, uh, it does not give you that soap opera effect, but it cleans up, it sharpens the image with motion dramatically. Uh, whereas, Every one of the other displays in the room will give you that sharpened up looking picture, but at the same time, it's going to give you this odd motion in film that I personally can't stand. It's a real love-hate thing. Some people really like this frame interpolation look, this soap opera look as some people call it. I don't, because it changes the way the film looks so dramatically, I can't stand it. Um, but that's really a matter of personal opinion. Um, <coughs> <clears throat> so I'll engage it on the elite. And I'll do it all solo. Yeah, let's put it. We yeah. can put it on all of them. The low setting works very well. Once you get to the high into the film motion, then even the elite's interpolation gets so heavy that you start to get this look. But the low, the 120 low, works real well to sharpen up and give you back some of that lost resolution. You can see the difference, mm -hmm. right? Pretty clearly, pretty easily. Um, let's sit on this here. Is the Panasonic just using the smoother and running at 60, or is it at 96? I believe you have a 60. At 60, and 60 and was doing it on weak. OK. Yeah, on the weak. So yeah, just the DJI. Yeah, if you do it on strong, forget it. It just, you got that soap opera effect. Is it LED motion plus? No. What is it? Auto motion. What is it? Auto motion plus. Where is that? It uh, uh, should be under picture, picture options. options. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> And what is it, standard or something? You guys have a lot of settings now. We have clear, standard, smooth, custom, you can take Which one is the best? Probably just standard. Standard? Yeah. We'll put, uh, all right, we got, now, we don't have any such thing in the, in the Yeah, there's one in the is plasma, it? yeah. Okay. Same name? No. Just hold it to the round. That one there. It's just, it's All right, I think we have a yeah, clear handle on this. Let's uh, let's do red. That um, scene with uh, I think it was right in the beginning of the film with four minutes and change or something. You're gonna have to loop it. Yeah, I, I have a question on, on this this on this particular clip. How and it sounds like a strange question. How much judder should there be in this clip? That's, that's a great be, question. There should be some judder. That's a great question. Absolutely so, correct. Right. So it's film. What, right. what we're yeah. seeing here when we turn on, like, for instance, the motion smooth on the Panasonic or auto, what is it, auto dimming uh, low, advanced dimming low right. on the uh, motion low. Yeah. yeah. What what we have here? 120 is now, hertz low. You mean? Yeah. Correct. That's what what we have here is more of interpolation than actual, you know, actually doing the frame one 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 et cetera et cetera. So. Um, there should be in this actual image per the director, and because it was made on film, there should be film judder. Right. You, you're not supposed to really get rid of that. You can smooth it out, but it still should be present. Now, if you don't want that, then 
this is what we have. And I will agree, the elite looks the best. Although I do you know that. You can still see some, some junk in it, right. too. Now, right. if I take sure. it to a higher setting, it's probably going to go away, yeah. but it's going to look yeah. right. and, and my guess is that the Panasonic and this mold would have the soap opera effect. This is, right, this is the soap opera that we've seen. So let me just switch to Panasonic. And this, too, it's probably going right. to Let's go all the way down. I'm going to switch it into 96 hertz. You know, well, it's in 96 hertz now. So, mode too. Actually, it's worse. Oh, do you? Six and six. Yeah. Yeah. I should have said this. Yeah. It's kind of a weird thing. Right? So I'm going to smooth shift yeah. on this one. And yeah. I'm yeah. going to turn that on. Yeah. 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 And now go advance a little over high. There it is. You see? Yep. You oh, know, nice. okay. So there's an interaction very smooth, no. just like a <laughs> It sure is, because now the judder's pretty well Still done. Still looks bad, but... I just don't want to take it back to the low. I don't want to throw up since it's good. But it's not as bad. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what, you know what? Actually, the LED above it is doing a much better job. Yeah, you still have the So, per the art, per the art, per the art again, this should have job. It should. Right. But, you know... We prefer to have less judder or no judder. That's where these circuitries come into play to smooth it out. Yeah. Yeah. Let me jump in for one second. Um, I've been told I'm not really in the digital cinema, but maybe Robert would, would know, being a Cynthia member. Obviously, the film is shot 24 frames per second. I'm talking about real film. And the shutter goes around three times for every picture. So it, it actually boosts it in terms of flashes to your eye to 72 hertz. Mm -hmm. My understanding, at one time at least, that Kuro was doing 72 that, hertz. That's yeah, what it's it doing and now. So the answer to your question is, if you were a movie theater looking at every frame tripled by just flashing right. with the shutter, and what you're looking with the Kuro, my guess would be very similar. So that's how much you should see if you were in a theater, perhaps. Now, that sounds crazy. Now, I'm just saying that doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> <laughs> You should have been like, yeah, 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 yeah,